What is good, YouTube? Quinn Way, basketball analysis coming to you with analysis breakdown on Draymond Green. He likes to get backdoor cuts for layups when it's open and nobody's there to protect the rim for quick, easy lay-ins. He also likes to go with a burst of speed at the top of the key to lay the ball in for easy opportunities. He also has the ability to trick you and burst past you for layups and opportunities. He can also finish with contact. Prefers not to, but he still can do it if the angle is right and he contorts his body just enough to get it off the glass. He also prefers to shoot spot-up threes when nobody's around him and it leaves him wide open. A lot of teams will threaten him to shoot threes, but he is a guy that can make them, given the room, given the patient, and given the time. He still can knock them down. Uh, when it comes to his best offensive skill, it is his passing at this point. He can pass and see over defenses and make the right decision, even if it's cutters, even if he's driving, even if he's semi-driving, or even if he's just doing a dump-off pass. As you see here, using his height, using his touch to deliver the, the ball right on target. He can even drive and find people in the paint so that way they can finish for easy opportunities. All they do is have to go straight up. He even has the abilities to make quick decisions with the ball. The screen set in his ability to pass. Here you see two defenders. He cut two defenders to find a cutter, right time on target pass for a straight layup, which is impressive and difficult to do, especially without turning the ball over and not letting the ball get touched at all. Even he can have the ability to set screens and deliver passes right on target for three-point shooters. But not only that, it allows him to get angles at the basket for easy opportunities. So his ability to set guys up while not even trying to score, but giving them space and room to score makes him a dangerous player on the court, even on the offensive end. And then even using his ability to drive to find guys for opportunities makes him a threat too because he can get to the basket and finish or get to the free throw line, which can collapse the defense and he can use that as a strength. But it also allows him to get mid-range jumpers too because if he sets the screen, it gives the makes the guy behind him a step below, and then it gives them the ability to pull up for jumpers or even go for spot up threes. And this team has loaded with shooters. And any team that he'll play with, he plays better within space. And I think that that's what makes him great, just because he has good IQ. He knows what everybody had on the court, and he has the size to be able to see it if he didn't. And he's very patient when he's trying to play basketball. Even right here, you see he doesn't rush it. He doesn't even look to score, but he finds the guy that has been the greatest shooter of all time wide open for three, and that's a high percentage shot, and, and that's one of the best shots. But even in transition, even if the game is slowed down, it, it is just impressive to see what he does. But defensively, he's been defensive player of the year, probably the greatest defender of this generation, just because his effort, his IQ, his know-how, and his want, he gets energetic defending he communicates he, he he's the best communicator on the court and he can even process shots before they even happen like you see here he knew he wanted to go to the basket he times it he covers the space and blocks it cleanly and even when he doesn't he knows exactly how to contest shots and make them tough and difficult and even here that just all effort this guy thinks the play is open he does a lazy pass and Draymond doesn't quit or give up on the play and then he tries to get the steal, which he almost does. But it was going to be clean if he didn't step out of bounds. And that's just all about wanting to be a great defender, wanting to put your all and sacrificing your body for not only yourself but your teammates. And that's just something that he has done throughout his career. And even here, you just see him grabbing the ball, just trying to rip it out of the opponent's hands, showing you that he's not going to quit, even if a guy's bigger than him. Even here, having the conversation telling them I got your back and I'm going to help you and having his back and coming through with a steal or a knockdown to cause transition, like I said before. And even here, going against somebody younger that's coming at him directly and being able to stay in front of him, making him pick up his dribble, making him overthink and causing a turnover at the end. That just all won't how, that's all know how, and that's just good, not fouling, staying in front of a guy. Even here, forcing Jason Tatum to overthink and, and forcing him to rush and make their own decision, and, and that's something that you have to give credit on Draymond. Good rotation here, knowing that Dray, that Jalen Green has to go for a foul, not giving him the opportunity. He shows all ball, which means you can go up for a clean block without touching him, and that's a clean block, and he is one of the best shot blockers in the league at the power forward slash center position. He's so great defensively and so great communicating 
that they can play him at center at 6'7", 6'8", 6'9", is around where he's listed, and he just has great speed and great quickness at that position, even at an advanced age, that he can still contest shots and block them cleanly or even contest them to where it's difficult to get them off. And it's all just based off knowledge, not understanding footwork, and understanding your ground and where you have to cover, how you need to do it. And even there, you see he goes up with two hands to make sure he can't pass out of it. And that's something that they teach you in school, that you want to go with two hands to make sure your opponent can't pass out of the shot. And if they do, it will be able to be stripped and the ball will be yours. And it allows you to keep the ball in bounds so y'all can keep possession. And I feel like Draymond Green understands these rules. He understands these things of the game. He has done it from day one that he's been in the NBA, and he has fought for a starting spot in this league. And it's all just because of his intellectual ability on both ends of the court, just being smart, being patient, and just using that as a way to be dominant in his own way. He doesn't have to be the greatest scorer. He doesn't have to be the greatest player. He just has to understand the game and play it at the highest level and put his maximum effort, and he can be just as great as any other player just in his own way. And even here, just forcing Jalen Brown to try to force up a shot, and then it's a break, and that's contested without fouling. He was trying to draw the foul just like J Jason Tatum is right here, and then they have nowhere to go, and it leads to another overthought turnover to where now I got to think myself out of it, and Draymond Green takes advantage of it. And here he just knows how to get the ball and just baits him into giving it up, and he just steals it. Al Horford using his strength, Draymond Green using his body and his length to po poke the ball away. It's rare that you can get steals without fouling, trying to poke, because they call it reaching foul, but Draymond Green does it all the time. I'm proud of what Draymond Green has been able to accomplish, being a multiple champion, being a multiple-time All-Star, eventually becoming Defensive Player of the Year, leading them to multiple championships as a focal point of what they do on both ends of the court. He knows what he is. He knows what he ain't. He's not shy about voicing that, but he also takes great pride and great experience to get to how far he has got into the league. And I'm just, just good to see guys know their strengths and their weaknesses and not ashamed of it, but using it. As an advantage, let me focus more on what I'm great at and become exceptional at it and then become dominant at it to the point where I'm defensive player of the year and I'm an all-star just based off what I know how to do at an exceptional level and not trying to focus on things that I suck at and hurting the team. I'm trying to help the team as best as I can, and I'm a guy that knows my role, knows my game, and I'm not afraid to be accepting of that, and that's what made me a great and amazing player in my own right, and that's something that I give Draymond Green credit on at the end of the day all, at, at all times. Other than that, continue to like, continue to subscribe, continue to comment, hit the notification bell for more analysis in the future. Other than that, see you guys later.